Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to show you how I built this solar powered Peltier cooler that cools 100 watts. Let's get started. I have two different solar panels. One goes to this box and charges this rather large car battery and this just, this is only like a 5-10 watt solar panel because I damaged a 50 watt solar panel so it's kind of bad now so I usually have to charge my phone and my computers. But right here I have two Peltier coolers. Right there and there. And it is running on 25 volts and 4 amps. So around 100 watts. And you can see them out here to back sides of the units where they get warm. And I'll get a thermometer on it uh, right after I show you the uh, solar panel. So as for the solar panels, I have the damaged 50 watt one right here. And uh, my advice is never buy a flexible solar panel because they're not actually flexible. When you bend them, they just break the cells. And then over here I have this really long wire and it goes to my 300 watt solar panel right here. And I just got this yesterday for 60 bucks, so it's a kind of a steal. Although it doesn't do 300 watts, it peaks around 175, which is still a pretty good deal for 60 bucks. This thing feeds out around 35 volts, but with the Peltier plates as load, it sags down to 25 and it perfectly matches their voltage needs. Because of the two Peltier plates, 12 volts each, you get the idea, 24 volts. And as you can see, these are really quiet. They don't make almost any noise. And the way I have it set up is I have a eBay module here. It cost me 10 bucks and it has a fan on each side and it has a Peltier plate in the middle. And here is a homemade one with a decent cool on it because this one has a higher wattage rating, needs to cool more. And it just has the fan blowing through the aluminum here and that so it cools the hot end. And as for keeping the cold air in, hot air out, I did a really crappy job of that because I'm literally just using uh, extra thick cardboard as you can see here. It's about two inches thick because there's some on the other side too. So yeah, that's basically what's cooling my room right now. And it keeps it not cold because it's only drawing 100 watts. And I've got probably one kilowatt being added to the room because of the sun. It's really hot outside right now. As of now, I have no real use for this giant solar panel. So I thought might as well use some of my older things that are sitting around and try something new. As you can see, it draws on 26 volts, which is 13 volts for each one, which is pretty good. And then here is the cardboard I was talking about and on the other side of the window. And the window is just kept shut with a small screw that I screwed in. And you can just take that out when you want the window to resume function. And as for the air coming out, I would guess it's about 60 degrees because these thing I put a really really strong fans on these I think these draw like 0.2 amps each which is tons for a fan that's about 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters so yeah let's get some readings so the ambient room temperature right now is about 72 usually at about this time it's about 75 so I think it's pretty good and the outside temperature on the roof tiles is 152 obviously that's not the regular temperature the regular temperature outside around 87. So that's what these Peltier plates have to deal with, 20 degree difference. And we can see here that it is 60 degrees on the Peltier plate, which means it's probably blowing 65 degree air. And for this one, I can't really get the plate. So, oh, that's actually way colder, probably because it's in a contained area. But this is the eBay one that I bought. And then the, the cold air just flows down out of this and then into the room. But yeah, these both cool. This one's actually blowing out 55 degree air, which is pretty good. Although I think this one's stronger. I'll see you in this video. And if you want, you can subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.